In a quiet corner of Assam, there's a paradise. In grasslands and forests live creatures of many a size. It's bigger than most places you've seen. 840 square kilometers of never-ending green. Kaziranga, land of the one-horned rhinoceros. Don't cross this animal, he could turn dangerous. The Brahmaputra is a mighty river. On its banks, the tall grasses quiver. A rhino wallows all alone in a pool of water like a stone. And here comes a tiger. He's a loner too. Can you guess what he's up to? But the lumbering elephants are a social bunch. They group together and they share their lunch. Here are grannies, aunts and cousins and little calves by the dozens. When you look at a family up close, a calf is smaller than most. He fits under his mother's belly and nuzzles her with his nose. And this one, lower than her shoulder, is a juvenile a few years older. And reaching up to her mother's eye is a sub-adult if she is that high. The adults are the biggest. The matriarch is usually the oldest. As the males turn older, they get bolder and bolder. Often in play, they stray far away, much to their hurt's dismay. Lost, the younger ones listening for a sound to home in. But the older ones hoping for another bout of sparring.
A sudden throaty bellow scares his playfellow. Tired of the game, the young one is spurred to go in search of his herd. He follows a trail at a slow pace with not a toe out of place. Many such paths riddle the floor made by elephants from long, long before. Solitary lives lead adult males. walking alone over hills and vales. And here's a lone makna, a tuskless bull. Ready for a nap, his stomach is full. Sometimes brief bonds are formed between male vagabonds. They sniff and touch and twine trunk, the other's head they try to dunk. Here's another pair jousting without a care. Body size settles the score and the young one fights no more. No one really knows why two males behave so. Will they remember each other even after they're not together?